All right, what's happening everybody? Looper Norse here, hope everyone's doing good. So I am back with another video, continuing on with my 104 greatest rappers of all time list. At number 45, we got Killer Mike. Killer Mike is a rapper from Atlanta, Georgia. Spent most of his days working with the Dungeon Family, which features Outkast, CeeLo Green, uh, Future. Eventually, he started to go on with his own career, his own solo career in the future. He ends up meeting up with a guy named LP, but LP is a producer slash rapper that started his career with the Brooklyn group called Company Flow. He went solo after a while, became just became a producer for a lot of other rappers. He met up with Killer Mike uh, together. Run the Jewels is a duo with LP and Killer Mike. I thought that was a pretty cool fact. The fact that Killer Mike, like a super southern Atlanta rapper, completely different style, meeting up with a guy who's like a producer first and from Brooklyn their musical styles are completely different as you know like you've heard of run the jewels like they're probably one of the biggest hip-hop duos like in the industry on to number 44 we got Kanye West Kanye West is a producer slash rapper from Chicago Illinois he is like he's probably the most famous rapper ever just because of like the, the recent outbursts in the media about like the Jewish community and just a lot of crazy stuff he's been through a lot you know just because he's super famous off of his music his life has been on camera ever since he got signed to jay-z's uh label ever since jay-z discovered him up until this point his life has been on camera basically exposed to the whole world he's one of the greatest beat makers of all time hands down if i were to make a list of the top beat makers of all time he would be in the top five in terms of beat making he's definitely one of the best ever uh, he's also a fashion designer too he was signed to adidas he came up with the shoe called Called the Yeezys which are super famous till this day super expensive pair of shoes but he was able to like make him fashionable and make him popular throughout the world in terms of rapping I feel like it's a good spot to put him at number 44 just because I never thought he was the best rapper which is why I have him at 44 as famous as he is you'd think that he would be in like the top 20 he does have a lot of lines he has a lot of punch lines that when you listen to it you're just like whoa like you didn't think that would come from a guy like Kanye and he's he's such a good beat maker it's pretty impressive that he could be that good of a rapper and be this type of a beat maker at the same time you know what I mean he's most of his relationship life with uh, Kim Kardashian went through a crazy phase with her Kanye was kind of crazy even when they were together and I feel like the breakup added to the fire so Kanye West this guy's been through a lot probably like the most famous rapper of all time because of his music but it's also because of his antics over the years and like a lot of the things he's been saying a lot of the crazy things he's been saying so he's not that good of a rap I think 44 is a good spot so we're gonna keep moving on here at number 43 we got Denzel Curry a lot of you guys might know who he is he's pretty relevant he's still at his prime when it comes to like his music making uh, he's from Miami Florida he started his career with Raider Clan it's a group that was founded by Space Ghost Perp I think Space Ghost Perp and Denzel Curry they were friends growing up he was a, a fun fact about him he was actually roommates with XXX Tentacion before XXX Tentacion got super famous and then got shot and all of that before Triple X is like fame before he got like super famous he was roommates with uh, Denzel Curry in Florida so that's actually an interesting fact that a lot of people probably don't know so they were like good friends before the fame I always thought he was a he was a dope rapper because he always had like a unique style and a style that you would hear more from like Wu-Tang and like he had a very lyrical style the rhyme scheme was old school but the way he would flow and like lay down his lyrics on his beats is very like fresh and new school and like something you've never heard before you know what I mean the combination of having that old school rhyme scheme and then having like a new school like beat selection and flow like I feel like made his style very like different compared to like a lot of other rappers so we're gonna keep moving on at number 42 we got Nicki Minaj and Nicki Minaj is a female rapper from Port of Spain Trinidad I think later on in her life she move to uh, Brooklyn New York that's why you see her like representing Brooklyn a lot that's the whole reason for that but she was actually born in Trinidad she was uh, one of the first rappers signed to Young Money Lil Wayne's label and she was signed under the same label as Drake so she was one of the rappers she was almost she's almost like the female version of Drake being that one young rapper that kind of became like a super star pop star she was under the same label as Drake you know what I mean kind of has like a similar style Nicki Minaj if I, if I have to compare 
Nick Minaj to another rapper, it would probably be Drake because they have very similar style in terms of like how they reference and how they position their like punchlines and how they do their setups. She has a very lyrical, very bizarre style where she kind of like throws her voices her voices are different like angles of the beat and kind of like throws different emotions she has like a very distinctive style which when you look at it that way her childhood was kind of rough her father was an alcoholic had a bad temper closer to when she was a baby though this is when she was really young it's probably part of what motivated her to become the artist that she is because she's a hard worker you know what i mean she's worked hard all throughout her career to become the rapper she is now everyone now knows her and looks at her, looks at her as like one of the greatest greatest female rappers of all time even though she's like the one of the most recent ones you know what i mean still making songs still doing performances and all that that's what we got for number 42 we're gonna keep moving on number 41 we got slick rick and slick rick is a rapper from new york he's originally from new york city he was born in london england but then later in his childhood life he moved to new york city that like makes a lot more sense just because like he has a new york style and the way he raps you can definitely tell he's from new york he always wears an eye patch just because like when he was really young when he was an infant a piece of glass a glass shard apparently flew into his eye made his right eye completely blind so that's why he wears an eye patch you know what i mean it's not just for style like he wears an eye patch just because of that like incident uh he's a lyrical pioneer a lot of rappers like jay-z q-tip the abstract nas they all looked up to him basically influenced them to become the rappers they became uh he was one of those rappers you would basically take notes from straight up one of those old school rappers he's old he was always known to wear like a bunch of chains you always see him in pictures he's wearing like a hundred different chains like that's uh that's an iconic look from him with the eye patch and the chains we're gonna keep moving on so at number 40 we got asap rocky asap rocky is he's a, a new york rapper from harlem new york he started his career off with the asap mob like asap ferg and all of those guys the whole asap crew back in the day where he he came up with the song purple swag that song made him so famous after he released that song he became like a household name in the hip-hop world he's currently dating rihanna and he has a very influential fashion style a lot of like the clothes he's worn over his career uh, has been mimicked by other rappers he's one of those rappers that kind of like started a fashion trend throughout the years he's been active oh another cool fact about him uh his his name apparently came from Rakim, the legendary rapper from New York. So I, f I found that a cool, interesting fact. One of the greatest rappers definitely deserves to be on my list. He has the talent, uh, the musical IQ to make music that, that isn't just hip hop. So I respect that from ASAP Rocky. At number 39, we have Triple X Tentacion. He's from Deerfield Beach, Florida. Uh, so another florida rapper this was the this was the same kid that got like super big at 20 he got shot with that drive-by very sad story because i mean if he never got shot he would have been one of the greatest rappers to this day he would be super famous he would basically be where like ski master slump god is he would kind of just be like that but maybe a little bit bigger he started off with his crew members only which includes ski master slump god and a bunch of other uh rappers and producers start how wu-tang is the designed and like odd future and all of those crews a lot of people like to compare him to tupac um just like i was saying man like if he never passed away he probably would be the biggest hip-hop star like in the entire world his music was getting listened all over the world by like everybody like he was really gonna change the game because of his age he was gonna be one of those rappers that kind of like shift hip-hop towards like a different direction it was very promising to have him do his thing he was also he fought a lot he did a lot of bare knuckle fights and you know what i mean he was kind of a crazy kid a lot of controversy with him and his like girlfriends and all of that so so there's a whole lot you could say about this guy very sad he passed away and uh, still still made it on my list even with the small sample size of music and projects that he's made we're gonna keep moving on to number 38 we got 50 cent and 50 cent is a rapper from i think jamaica queens new york he's known for that one incident 
that kind of blew up his name where he got shot like nine times. After he got shot, he ended up making music still. Kind of like changed the way he would talk because one of the bullets hit his face. So it kind of changed the way he would like rap too. You can kind of hear it in his, in his music before he got the shots. And then that incident, I think made his name super famous, way more famous than it would have been if that incident never happened. He had a beef with a lot of different rappers over the years. I feel like the biggest one was the one with Ja Rule. They were kind of going back and forth with each other. He had, he had beef with the game too. But I think the Ja Rule one was bigger. I think 50 Cent ended Ja Rule's career with his diss tracks at number 38. Jizza, the genius, he is a, a Wu-Tang member. Probably the most lyrical Wu-Tang member, in my opinion. He's from New York City. He grew up with RZA and I think old old dirty bastard. I think he I think he's related to those two. No, no, I was right. Yeah, I think it's RZA and old dirty bastard. So he grew up with those two guys, and I think they're like I think RZA and Jizza are like the main founders of Wu Tang. I think they're like the main guys who who started the group. The thing with Jizza, this guy is like a super genius rapper. You know what I mean? Like that's see his his nickname is Genius. The back in the day they would call him the Genius just because he was very intelligent intelligent when it came to like his wordplay and his referencing and uh he had a very wide vocabulary when it came to like writing his music so he was known as the genius out of the wu-tang clan he is also a chess player so like that makes a lot of sense he's a really really good chess player played people for money in the streets he probably can be a, a grandmaster if he really wanted to he definitely deserves to be on this list i i think he's one of the best lyrically he's one of the best rappers i've ever heard in my entire life because I feel like everyone else on the Wu-Tang Clan, they were more style driven rather than lyrical driven. That's what made Jizza stand out. Talking about political stuff and stuff like that, which is important to talk about. But I mean, it just makes his style a little bit more boring, which is why I put him in the spot I put him. He would be way higher up in my list. He would be closer to like the 20s to like the the teens one of the greatest wu-tang members of all time so we're gonna keep moving on here uh so at number 36 we got talib kwali so talib kwali is a brooklyn new york rapper uh started his career with uh raucous records talib kwali he's not that old He's still in his 40s, you know what I mean? Um, Talib Kweli, he started, when he started his career, he was really young. I think when he got signed to Ruckus Records, he was like a teenager still. And this is around the time where he met up with like Mos Def, all those other East Coast rappers that are kind of signed to that label. Like I think Missy Elliott and like LP, there's a bunch of other names that I'm forgetting. But he's also part of the collective uh, Soul Aquarians. It's very similar to the Native Tongue Posse. It's it's almost like the same thing. It's a it's a name that was developed a little bit later in his career. And he also worked with Reflection Eternal. Before he started Black Star with Mos Def, he partnered up with a producer named uh, High Tech. If you're a hip hop head, you'll know what I'm talking about when I say Reflection Eternal. So High Tech is a producer from Cincinnati. He linked up with Talib Kweli. Together, they made a duo project called Reflection Eternal. And they even they have multiple albums with the, with the duo, which is like an even bigger duo. They're probably more famous together with Talib, Talib Kweli and Mos Def. Reflection Eternal, they they got some tracks, man. One of the most lyrical rappers ever throughout his 20s and his 30s. Moving on to the last name of this video here. At number 35, we have LL Cool J. He's more of an old school rapper representing... Uh, Bay Shore, New York. He was successful. He was more successful when he was in his 20s making music back in like the late 80s or early 90s. That's when he was at his ultimate, ultimate prime when he was putting out the craziest records where they were making so much sales. He was performing worldwide all over the place. He reminds me of like the Drake back in like those days. Back in the days, break dancing was more popular. Lyrical rapping was more popular. You know what I mean? He kind of represented the Drake of those days, you know what I mean? How he he was getting all the girls to listen to his music. He was super lyrical too. He actually had talent. I think he was a I think it was a break dancer too. He had beef with cannabis. He's also praised in the hip hop head world as one of the greatest rappers of all time. He's also an actor too, but I think he's been in TV shows mostly. The most famous one, NCSI. It's it's mainly his style, how distinctive he can make his music using his like flow and his voice. He was 
was a legit talented rapper sold a bunch of records because of that you know what i mean and for that reason he deserves that spot so that's my list from 45 to 35 thank you guys for watching we're getting closer to the end um, i appreciate the the likes the views the subscriptions um if you haven't subscribed already please do more music to come to i got a brand new song writer's block dropping march 24th next week friday so stay tuned for that song stay tuned for the next video looper noise i'm out